Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand. Hey everyone, welcome back for another moldboard plowing video. If you've just seen the recent video I did of the John Deere 4630 pulling the five bottom plow, Less than probably a mile away, my brother-in-law was over here plowing with his International 5088 tractor and this International 5-bottom plow. It's not very often I get two video opportunities this close to each other, but when you do, you definitely got to take advantage of the situation. And there's definitely not as many farms moldboard plowing like there used to be back in the good old days. And speaking of the good old days, how about this International Harvester 50 Series row crop tractor? This is the last of the International Harvester tractors before they went to Case International. And the 88 series International tractors like the 5088 you see here was built by International Harvester Company out of Rock Island, Illinois between 1981 and 1985. And doing a little research, it looks like there was exactly 8,176 5088 International Harvester tractors built. Now you could get these tractors in either two wheel drive like you see here or you get mechanical front wheel assist four wheel drive. In 1985, depending on how this tractor was equipped, this would have sold somewhere in the mid 50 thousands. These tractors were powered with an International Harvester 7.1 liter six cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. That was also 436 cubic inches in size, and these were rated at about 136 PTO horsepower. These had what was referred to as a Synchro Tri-6 transmission. It was a partial power shift with 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds, and the top speed on this tractor was just a shade under 18 mile per hour. These tractors have a 70 gallon fuel tank. You can get these with 540 and 1000 PTO, depending on how this tractor was equipped. This would have weighed in somewhere in the high 13,000s to just over 16,000 pounds. And another little farmhand mic fact of the day, if you see my brother-in-law's Kubota UTV back there, when I was growing up, we never had a moldboard plow. When I met my wife, of course, her dad was still plowing here. The first field that I ever pulled a moldboard plow in in my entire life was back there behind where that Kubota was. I just thought everybody watching this video should know that. I may have actually plowed that field two different times. The first time would have been with their International 1256 tractor. Another year was with the Case 1370 tractor. I don't believe they have either of those tractors on the farm anymore. But hey, enough of me talking. Let's listen to this tractor work.
thing I do want to point out, because it did bring up a lot of comments and questions in the other plow and video I did not too far from here. There's a spot in this field even where he's raising the plow up and not plowing. A lot of people were asking why that was. So where they're lifting the plow in the field where he is here and in the other video, that is what we refer to as a waterway. It's a low spot on the field where if we'd get a big rain or something like that where all the water would run to to wash away. And by not plowing that spot, it's referred to as a waterway. It's just done for erosion control to kind of help. And you can see his hair must have been messed up there. He's getting it all fixed up for the camera. Thanks, Bob. So that green spot right there where the grass is growing, that's a waterway. That part of this field will never be farmed. Some guys will plant right through those areas. Other guys will just leave them in grass all the time. Again, it's strictly for erosion control.
that's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Feel free to comment below. And if you don't know the drill, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you would go down there and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media. And check back often for new videos.